Police spokesperson Emilian Kaima told NTV that the statistics on car theft between August and November 2017 are alarming. A total of 136 cases in Kampala Metropolitan were reported of cases of, of, of motor vehicles stolen. Out of those, 36 were recovered. Some of the recovered vehicles that are yet to be identified by the owners are being kept at the central police station in Kampala. But all of this is an indication that probably somebody does not track where their vehicles are. The police urge motor vehicle owners to take precaution to protect their cars from theft. Want to have the right documents. Immediately your vehicle is stolen, report to the police. You have your ID, you have the logbook for your vehicle. Those that don't have these miss the point, the delay. When you delay, some of these vehicles that are driven across borders could have crossed. Busia District Police Commander Ezra Tugume says the Busia border with Kenya has become a key transit route for stolen vehicles from Uganda and Kenya. We keep on monitoring those borders on a 24-hour surveillance time, but it does not stop really uh, anyone to get a porous border, a point where we have left and he, he goes. A Toyota car, believed to have been stolen from Machindi in Kampala, was recovered in Eldoret, 200 kilometers from the Uganda-Kenya border, while another car stolen from Ugunja in Kenya was recovered from Uganda. At a place called the Beluga opposite Shell petrol station in Machindi, and uh, after about an hour, when we came out with a friend of mine, we found the car missing, so we reported straight away to police. I normally have two cars, so when I opened the door, I could only see one car. It's KBQ 831Y, mm -hmm. and it has been changed to UAU. The police flying squad, in collaboration with Kenya police, are working to fight the vice. Meanwhile, the Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson has warned motorists against using the Entebbe Express Highway, which is not yet officially open. There are young men who have made it a habit, actually business, to open and close that road as and when they deem right. And the motorists easily use it to avoid the traffic jam, but they don't know what they are falling into. He said a crackdown against the illegal use of the road is ongoing. We are going to have a chat with the, with the UNRWA and the contractor and to agree on the best way to handle this. But on our side, we are, sit, we are starting tonight.